Previously on Black Gold, Rig 28 was given a challenge from the top. Get down there where that oil is so he can be the first one. Get that sucked out of the ground. I like the challenge. So driller Brandon Watson assembled a dream team of the best roughnecks in the oil field. I woke up this morning, I said, Wheeler. I need the Wheeler twins. The pressure mounted when the rig was sabotaged by an unknown enemy. Where the this truck going? What happened to the power? I saw somebody running across that field. Come on now. I mean, somebody's taking a lot of effort to mess up our rig. Yeah, yeah. But the real enemy came from within. A rumor ignited Brandon's notorious temper. I'm going to kill you, piece of Tearing the rig apart. With Brandon behind bars and Aaron Wheeler run off. I gotta get the f out my rig. I mean, get the f out my rig. All right. I gotta adapt. I gotta be a chameleon. I gotta learn something new every single day. Cheston jockeyed for a promotion. I want the dead man position dad. And the first two holes were a bust. It wasn't looking good, guys. We gotta make time on this one. And now, with the competition breathing down their necks, Rig 28's crew has one last chance to make their bonus. We're gonna get this mother load. They're gonna catch on what we're doing. We got money riding on this well. We got a certain amount of days to punch these holes, man, or we're gonna lose them. The race is on to get to the bottom of this hole and strike oil. We're gonna take care of this roughneck style. Rig 28 is only a thousand feet from tapping what they hope is a giant oil reserve. Make it quick. Make it snap. Up my connection time. The competition is hot on their heels, and this is the crew's last hope for hitting oil and getting their bonus money. Yeah, everything's on the line right now. You know, if we gotta. We don't get no oil. You know, we probably won't have a job next week. They got a ways to go. Hey, they got a ways to go. With Brandon in jail, the new driller, Ben Bales, has some big shoes to fill. And there's already lots of problems. Let's go find out what's wrong with my pump. I ain't got no pressure. Hurry up. You want to be a Derek man? Go faster. Justin's hoping it's a pump swab problem, which would be a quick fix. But the worst case scenario would be a crack somewhere in the 9,000 foot pipeline. I lost pressure. The pressure gauge says we got no pump pressure. That's the best way to get stuck in the hole or twist it off. But either way, it's not a good idea to continue drilling until they know what's wrong. You ain't got all day. No, bro. But with their last chance for a bonus riding on this hole, Ben decides to finish this connection and then figure out the problem. I don't need your help. I ain't got no pressure. Hell no. knows that sound. They split the pipe somewhere deep in the two-mile pipe string. Well. The pressure loss was caused by a crack in the pipe. If you keep drilling with a fractured pipe, sooner or later, it'll snap. But that's what Ben did. Twist it off. Pipe broke down hole. Boy, yeah, you know, what's going wrong right now. Now we've got more delays, so I'm sure the big wigs ain't happy. 
A twist off means a mandatory call to the big boss. I got a phone call that we had twisted off. Instead of picking the pipe up, stop rotation on the pipe. You keep rotating it, this is what happens to it. So now we're behind time, hours. Whose fault was this? The new relief driller, ready? 225. But Freddie doesn't have time for an ass chewing. He's got to take his crew fishing for a busted pipe. Freddie's plan is to use a specialized tool called a fisherman. Anyways, that fisherman's tool is going to try to fit over that pipe and grab a hold of it, kind of like a claw game you see at a convenience store. If they can't fish out the broken pipe, the hole will be a bust. Please let us last home. And Rig 28 can kiss their bonuses goodbye. All eyes are glued to the gauge. An increase in weight means they've hooked to the broken section of pipe. Now it's up to 150. It's like we latched onto it. We got it. Good show. On. Drilling the head. Good fisherman. We got it on the first try. They latched on to the broken section. Now they have to slowly reel in the entire pipe string and hope the 90 ton fish doesn't wriggle free and get away. Back up there on that board. Yeah, buddy. Tell me what you got. Tool pusher Larry assigns Cheston the job of pulling pipe. Chestins worked the boards before with mixed results. Show me something. Ah! Use your damn muscle. Don't need another chance. Get up there. You better not. Up. Yeah, I got you covered. Well, you better. Part of being a Derek man is dealing with extreme heights. If Cheston blows this shot, any chance of promotion will slip through his fingers. Be careful, sweetheart. You got it. I'll see you at relief time. The competition closes in. We out, out here. Hey, Dan, when I broke out, I'm doing it for him. And Chester is tested yet again. I am not with you. You want me to come down there right now, mother? Come down, man. Damn it. Funny. Shut the I'm not with you, you child. Guys down there being so mean. I'll see you at relief time. All eyes are on Cheston. If he succeeds, he's one step closer to the Derek Man job. If he fails, he can kiss those dreams goodbye. With half a day wasted, they still have to trip out the broken pipe before they can start drilling again. They depend on me not to slow up their process. These guys do. If I had to come down, I'd probably lose my job. That's all I've been doing is waiting on you. I gotta get my road straight. Chill out. Can't do nothing till Jersey Shore gets his rope around the deal. All right. John. Yeah. Get a belt on. Get one of them baby harnesses on, put my dog in it. And all you gotta do is throw a rope around, put the rope in my dog's mouth. He'll still just me how to do it. 
Justin's gaining confidence, but the guys aren't gonna let him off easy today. I think we need to do a little Derek initiation. If Justin wants to break out as a Derek man, he's gonna have to endure a little hazing first. I'm gonna put a big ass drop of dope down the back. Josh is serving up a traditional roughneck prank. Oh, a lot of fun. Spreading dope on the pipe and sending a greasy mess skyward. As a driller, I should probably tell him no. But I think it would be funny at the same time. Hey! Y'all keep the dope off the pipe! Man, it's got dope on it right there. Look at that. If I keep seeing that, I'm gonna get real pissed off. Why the f is all this dope on the pot for? I'm not gonna clown on him all the time. I mean, everybody had to break out at some point. Son of a bitch. It's already stressful enough being up here, pulling all this. I got dope on my elevator handle. That ain't funny. The is on the handle. Did you put dope on that elevator handle, yes or no? No, why? Well, then why the f is there dope on it? There's dope on this handle on this elevator. I don't want to see this no more. No. no. Hey, why the f are you letting put dope on the handles? Hey, Dan, today when I broke out, I'm doing it to him. I am not with you. You want me to come down there right now? Oh, come down, man. Damn. You better shut the f up. That f ain't funny. Just shut I'm not with you, child. I'm just oh, easy, man. Dump on my elevator handle. Look, I got dump all over my ass. Guys, the guys down there being so mean. I'm not out here to play games like that. Josh figures if Cheston's that upset, he might want to file an official complaint. Oh, we got a hurt feelings report. Uh, raise the felon out report. Am I being skin? Yes. Am I Yes. Do I have women like Cormo? All of above. We're gonna send this out to Chester. We need him to fill this out. Yeah, he's really gonna be sore after this. We've been him all day. I need some rope. Let her rip, boys. Y'all keep that shit up. Y'all keep that shit up. He's gotta learn, man. I mean, we're yelling at him, making fun of him, but it's for his own good. Eventually, he'll learn. That's what it's all about. I know what this shit is. It's a hurt feelings report. You didn't get your feelings hurt. It says chest and on. Please fill out for him as soon as possible. I know what's inside of that form. Well, guess what? I don't have to fill the form out. Because they're going to have to fill the form out when I come down and beat their ass. But with his eye on a promotion, Cheston doesn't have time for child's play. After five hours of pulling pipe out of the hole in search of the crack piece... Should be this one right here, right? Yeah, it'll be on the bottom of this joint right here. The broken pipe finally emerges. Here it is! Here it is! Here it is, bitches! What moment you been waiting for? Boom shakalaka! There she is! Woo! That's it, right there. Ta-da! Yep, that one's broke. Hook, line, and sinker. I mean, you know, we got in one shot, and that's all it took. You know, I'm, I'm glad it didn't take months. I'm glad it didn't take days. I have a job to learn. I'm stepping up. With the broken pipe replaced, 
Rig 28 is finally back to drilling, but they're more than two days behind. Oh, that was a pain in the ass, man. With yesterday's setback, the crew's going to have to work double time to get their hands on a bonus. What's up? Josh Castile and his crew start in on the last 900 feet to total depth. There you there go. Yeah, boy. I'm going to teach y'all something yet. That chain up, bitch. With the pressure mounting, a sit-down lunch is a luxury these guys can't afford. Luckily, Twist has a time-saving secret recipe. Maybe what you can make real quick, get down the road. First, the condiments. Mayo, mustard. Then a generous portion of corn chips for added texture. A little barbecue sauce. What sandwich would be complete without peanuts? One slice of bologna. Last but not least. And finally, pipe dope on the bread to make it stick to your ribs. And the Roughneck Special is served. Roughneck Subway. Yes, we're doing like this. A five-minute meal fit for a landfill, and it's right back to work. Almost. Watch your feet, watch your feet, watch your feet. But the crew has to keep moving, even without their Derek man. Watch your back, watch your back, watch your back. Watch your back suddenly takes on a new meaning for Rig 28. Hey! Hey! Coming up, the rig gets a visit from an uninvited guest. And a prank goes too far. Hey! Hey! Oscar let his guard down and spots someone messing with his truck. I don't know, dude. I thought he was yelling at one of y'all. Then I came out here and he was trucking it through the bushes. I got all my world files, you know. You gotta find out what he took. It's been like an everyday thing, somebody coming out here doing something stupid. You better not find out who it is. I'm tired of this. Hey, uh. What the hell are you doing, dude? Nah, somebody in my pickup, man. When Oscar gets back to his truck, he finds that confidential information about their wells is missing. Think he's still in or what? I think he's getting information, man. Have you seen anybody, dude? Any coming out of there anywhere? Well, somebody we don't know. I want, I want to get that. Rig 28 is now on lockdown, but it might be too late. I mean, somebody's got to be for sure messing with us, man. It either takes some serious. You got to be stupid as. Man, to come out here and break in Oscar's truck, you know, in the middle of daytime, I mean. The guys are gonna have to grow eyes in the back of their heads if they plan to strike oil before their rival. Still high from his success on the derricks, Cheston's working the floor like a general in battle. I'm gonna laugh my ass. I am too. But the other boys want to make sure that he knows his place. We're gonna play a prank on Cheston. So what I did was I took the exhaust, took it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up with dope. And as soon as he comes over here to run it, because I know he's going to be the first one to come over here. As soon as he pulls back on this lever and that exhaust shoots out, all that dope I packed in there 
Come straight out towards chest. Awesome. Ben's put a brand new spin on an old classic, a pipe dope, pie in the face. Gonna have to feel better up, Nick, though. <laughs> This will burn you out. Justin doesn't fall for Josh's latest prank and decides fresh water will work just fine. Time to get back to work. When they get a visit from an uninvited guest. What's up, Oscar? <laughs> How you doing? Good for you, brother. How's life treating you? Oh, pretty good. Gerald Williams used to work on Rig 28. But a couple of years ago, Freddy sent him packing. Let him go because he got drunk, or what do you want me to do? Okay, bye. Should be gone. Good enough. So Gerald left the oil fields to strike out on his own. What have you been up to, man? I thought I heard you were drilling in water wolves. Well, that didn't work out for me too good. I ditched that operation. That's my rig over there. Gerald's back in the oil business, and he parked his rig right at Big Dog's back door. Oh, it's that rig over there popped up. I'm drilling these wells out here. I've been a little crazy been going on in my rig. Somebody got in my truck. I seen a hand in my truck. I don't know who it was. It took off across the field. The light plant's going off. Missing bit. You know, still stuff like that's been going on that they'd be glad I didn't catch their asses. So would have snapped their necks. Yeah. And I guarantee you none of my boys been coming over here. Yeah, I just come by to shake y'all's hand, see how y'all and the old crew was doing, man. It's All good right. to see you, though. All right, man, well, you be careful, man. All right, stay out of trouble. What happened, man? He, he got something to hide. I'm going to find out what's going on. You better be ready to pay the piper. Coming up. What the is this? Tell us! The rig is sabotaged again. I want to find out what the is doing this. I'm back. And is Brandon Watson headed back to the rig? Dog Rig 28 is pushing hard to make the last 400 feet to total depth. And with luck, oil. 
But they have no idea their driller has something else on his mind. Dripping this in the hole, man. I mean, I'm kind of trying to enjoy this. This might be the last time I ever trip bike. Josh has worked for Oscar for seven years. But today, the driller has some news that could surprise his boss. What's going on, boss? Not much, man. What are you doing? That'll be a pretty good time to go ahead and come here and tell you, man. I'm throwing in the towel, dude. Throwing in the towel? What yeah. do you mean? Got a few opportunities pop up for me, man. I think I'm going to give them a shot. I think I'm going to give up roughnecking for a while. I mean, I hate to lose you, man. You know, you're young enough to take chances. Once you get married and have kids, and it's harder because you got to provide for everybody else. I mean, if you need to take your chance, you know, take your chance. I just, I don't want to let these guys know yet. Most hands when they find out the drillers quit and they slack off. I'm happy you let me know something, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate everything, dude. But uh, if something happens, you know, you can always come back. It's good to know, man. I'll, uh, I'll get with you later. All right, man. Appreciate it. Losing an experienced driller is a big deal on an oil rig. I hate to lose them, but, uh, you know, He's gonna finish this roll off with me, and by that time, you know, I'll let all the mans know, and I'll get him another driller. Either which way, you know, this rig's gonna keep on turning to the right. They keep on drilling these hoes. For the time being, Josh needs to keep his eye on the prize, total depth, and a healthy bonus. Man, we're really hoping for it. I mean, if it is, then that's big bonuses for everybody. Got 300 more feet to drill, so uh, hopefully we'll finish tonight. Come on, Josh, you're wasting my TD time. Here goes our bonuses right out the window. Waiting on Josh. Only 200 feet to total depth, so close they can taste it. But nothing's ever easy on Rig 28. We're almost done with this whale right here. Close to TD. here nobody uses locks unless they're being Look sabotaged so i guess somebody's still trying to mess with our around here we'll have to get to the bottom of it and find out someone's still playing games with rig 28 only thing is no one's laughing you mean got the padlock on it? there's a padlock got it locked up where nobody can get in that side of it's my rig Coming up. Let's go, Chess. It's TD for our bonus. Rig 28 goes into overdrive at the 11th hour. So we're going to get this money load. And Cheston is a no show at work. As you know, I'm making changes on this rig. Rig 28 has been plagued by troubles in the race to find the next mother load. They've lost their star driller. I wish Panda was here right now. It'd be a lot easier, huh? And the competition what is this? has been slowing them down any way they can. Hey, see that padlock on that door? Hey, go give me a sledgehammer. Yeah, I'm gonna knock that bitch off. You hear me? Bad luck on the board. Get it? That dude. Get sick and tired of people around, man. There you go, man. Stupid. Nothing's missing. But Oscar can only think of one man with something to gain from slowing down Rig 28. That's my rig over there. Gerald, the guy Big Dog fired. Well, I was thinking about it. It's kind of suspicious he just shows up and uh, 
Those are asking questions, I mean, pretty suspicious that uh, maybe he had something to do with it. I think he might have been the one around with all this. If I had to call it, I'd say it's Gerald. He didn't leave on the best of terms with Big Dog. With the two rigs working side by side, Big Dog has everything to lose if Gerald's rig reaches the oil first. With the odds stacked against them, the crew is more determined than ever to get to the finish line first. Pick him up, pick him up. Let's go, Chess. It's TD for our bonus. We gave a lot of respect for you. He stepped up to the plate. You know, Chess, all the we've had here lately, you know, Oh, Aaron get fired and Brandon going to jail. Chester stepped up to the plate. And I'm proud of him. I know he can do it. It just takes, takes motivation. Yeah, man, let's go. <laughs> Things are looking good for us right now. make it or break it for their bonuses. But all they can do now is get back to work breaking down the rig while they wait for the results to come in. Come here! Come here! Oscar has business with Justin, and that's never a good sign. Close that door. As you know, I'm making changes on this rig. Coming up, the crew finds out if they're about to be 5,000 bucks richer. Some of the that's happened out here, whisking off. And notorious roughneck Brandon Watson comes back for more. I'm just glad to be out of jail, man. I'm back. The Roughnecks of Rig 28 have reached total depth on this final hole in record time. CD, baby! The first two holes came up dry, so this is their final shot. Hey, come here! Come here! Cheston has struggled to break out as a Derrick man, and today he'll find out his fate on Rig 28. Yes, sir. Oh, As you know, I'm making changes on this rig. I got tired of Aaron, the way he was, you know, not doing his job. You know, I canned his ass. So, uh, you're the man now. I'm the dirt man? Yeah, you're the dairy can. All right. I'm gonna throw you in the fire and see if you can come out of it alive. You're gonna bust your ass every day. I don't wanna hear no lip. I just want a job done. Shake your head and get it done. And I want you to prove to me this is what you want. Thanks, Oscar. I appreciate it, man. All right, man. You trust the work. They say perseverance pays off. And in this case, Woo! it all worked out. Ha. You want to get up there and have your chance? <laughs> Hurry up. Cheston had to earn his stripes 120 feet off the ground. Show me what you got, Cheston. Under the supervision of one badass driller. Pull up there. Pull that thing to you. He took his lumps from a tough crew of roughnecks. Why the f are you letting put dope on the handles? And now, Oscar just made me the Derek man out here. I'm the official Derek man for the evening to our crew. It's what I've been working for, so I mean, I can't help but hey, be, be happy today. You know, I'm gonna break him to a good Derek can, or I'm gonna break him when he wants to quit. I'm pretty sure he's gonna make it. He didn't hand it to me. He said, You've been working your ass off. You show me you're willing, you're eager, you want to get it. 
And man, it just keeps getting better and better out here on 28, man. I'm the official Derek, man. Now I just, I'm, I'm ecstatic. The next morning is day two of rig move. Freddie arrives with the geologist's report from their last hole. Hey, Oscar. After six weeks of back-breaking work, this is the moment of reckoning. We need to get all them hands down here so we can talk to them. All right, I'll call them down here. Back then, Freddie laid down a challenge for Rig 28. We're going to talk to all you drillers. You're going to have to push the hands a little bit harder and get down there where that oil is. And we the first ones out here and strikes oil for Oscar. He'd give his hands in this rig a bonus. Today, they find out if they passed the test. Oscar, where the f chest in that? I don't know, man. Hasn't shown up yet. Hello? Worst spot to be to, I have no cell phone service. Looks like I'm gonna have to walk. Yeah, this is gonna suck. For these last three wells, y'all done a pretty good job for some of the that's happened out here. The bit coming up missing, getting stuck, twisting off. I didn't think you'd ever get a bonus, but you know, right here it is. Woo! Yeah, I'm on. Everybody out here is gonna get $5,000. Gentlemen, I appreciate what y'all have done. Hell yeah. Oscar, get their asses back to work. Right. Just because they got a little money in their pocket, that don't mean they're going to shut down now. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Out of here, boss. Appreciate y'all staying over, man. See you, Freddy. All right, Twist. Hold my seat. Oscar, I'm out of here, bud. Appreciate it, Freddy. Enjoy your money. All right, I will. Okay. All right, you be careful, man. Buy your wife something. I will. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna ask her. Ask her. Yes. <laughs> what the f he doing, son? His tires on her had a blowout. They wait on you. I know, Freddy. I can make it. If I'm gonna send you right back down this road, kick rocks. Son, you're wasting time. You're gonna get the hoof. All right, I'm gonna, I got you, Freddy. You're not gonna give me a ride. Hell no, I got a max in that side, bro. Ah. Uh, that's <laughs> What the f is this goober doing? What you doing? Moving in? Uh, I need water. I need water? I walked, bro. I'm sorry I'm late, man, but... I'm... I don't care how many miles you had to walk. You get the Get it doing something. Yeah, come on. Oh. You want to work? Get yeah. your ass to work, man. You I want to work, didn't I? Well, get your ass to go work. Get out of here. Hey! Nah, you're paying. Here's your check, man. <laughs> Here's your bonus. You know, next time you call me, I'll go pick you up myself. OK. All right, later. Woo! 
80 miles up the road, former driller Brandon Watson is tasting something even sweeter than a bonus, his freedom. After spending 17 days in jail. You did a good job raising him, yeah? You raised a man. Don't feel bad about it, okay? Brandon's had some time to think. Jail's never good. Well, I did what I had to do, and I'm back, you know what I mean? Got my two feet on the ground instead of concrete. I got to mop every day. I'm just glad to be out of jail, man. Before I got locked up, you know what I mean? I had that rig looking pretty good, shining like a diamond in a rough. All them rigs need to look like that. Started working good, the hands started working better, you know what I mean? Yeah, Big Dog wanted me to stay, you know what I mean? I'm always a good hand. I mean, I'm gonna straighten out my life, you know, and just try to walk that straight path. You know, try to put God in my life, maybe, a little more. I am a Christian, but, I mean, no, we all, we all have our our times. But, uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be out of jail, man, and, and happy to get on my spot. Ready to make some noise, you no know, man? Under the cruel sun in this West Texas no man's land, every year hands are turned out. Woo! Bonus, Derek, man. Let's keep getting better and better. While others are run out. I can't get the fuck off my rig. I'm gonna get the fuck off my rig. All right. I'm not gonna sit around and work for no chicken like that, you know? I'm gonna kill you, you piece of Strong men come to prove their mettle. Most don't make it, but those that do, we call them roughnecks. Now I feel like I'm keeping up. And just a couple of miles below the hard pan is the stuff that dreams are made of. Black gold. Brand is back, baby. <laughs> It's original.